Hi guys, Hallie Happoween here. So we're gonna do another unboxing video today for Keyforge. So I've got myself another Keyforge pack here. Uh, let's see what's in it. All right, let's. Uh, all right, here we go. That's really tight. All right, let's see what we have here. Naramash, the infiltrator of the boat house. So it's logos, untamed, and Mars. All right, let's try to get that open. All right, there we go. So that's fine. Here we've got our uh, uh, starting card with uh, all the deck information. I'm gonna put that to the side, here we go. And then we're gonna have a look at each card separately. So we're starting out with Untamed. Okay, this is good. Witch of the Eye. One of the best Untamed cards that there are out there. So it's a three power creature and has a very powerful reap effect. Return a card from your discard pile to your hand. So that's any card, right? A creature, action, whatever. It's really, really powerful. All right. Wow, okay, so immediately we're, uh, we have two Witch of the Eyes. We have three Witch of the Eyes. Well, that's very nice to see. Okay, and then we've got a, a really common, um, well, a very nice uh, untamed creature, Dust Pixie, just the one power creature, but the nice thing is that it gives you two direct amber. So together with Witch of the Eye, we can do a reap, we return Dust Pixie from the, from the uh, discard pile and we can play it again right all right we also have a dew fairy all right so that's an elusive creature and when you reap you gain one so in effect you gain two amber when you play when you reap with this guy so it's a dangerous card and we've got two of those wow that's nice so those are that's actually quite good already for uh, untamed then we also have an ancient bear Right, so this is one of the stronger creatures from uh, Untamed, so it's 5 power and has Assault too, which means that before this creature attacks, it will deal 2 damage to the attacked enemy, right? So in effect it's dealing 7 damage, right? But if you're attacking like smaller creatures, like 1 or 2 power creatures, you already kill it before, before you even attack it, right? Alright, then we also have Save the Pack, destroy each damaged creature but gain a chain, so that's a form of board removal. We also have a regrowth. This will give us a direct amber. And as a play effect, return a creature from your discard pile to your hand. So that's the difference with Witch of the Eye. Witch of the Eye says you can take any card from your discard pile. This states particularly a creature. So that's important. We also have Lost in the Woods. That's a very powerful removal card for Untamed, right? Choose two friendly creatures and two enemy creatures. Shuffle each chosen creature into its owner's deck. So you could use that, for example, on your Dust Pixie. Uh, you know you're gonna draw it again and you can again get to Amber. So that's nice. All right, we also have a Key Charge. One of the best cards that are out there because it allows you to forge a key uh, outside the normal steps of forging a key, right? Normally you only forge a key at the start of your turn, but this card allows you to lose one Amber. And if you do, you may forge a key at current cost, right? So that's powerful. Then we also have Cooperative Hunting. Now, Cooperative Hunting is really nice in combination with uh, Save the Pack, right? Because if you have some creatures out, you can deal one damage for each friendly creature in play and you may divide it as you wish. And then you play Save, Save the Pack to destroy each damaged creature. So that's, that's a really good combo to have. All right, so that was everything for Untamed. So let's have a recap. We've got some action cards. We got a really important key charge, a Lost in the Woods. Then these two, which work very nice together. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven creatures, among which three Witch of the Eye. All right, that's quite nice, right? That's quite nice. Okay, the next house is Mars. So we start off with an upgrade, a Red Planet Ray Gun. So it gives you an Amber, that's good. And this creature gains a Reap ability. Choose a creature, deal one damage to that creature for each Mars creature in play. So it doesn't have to be a ready, cre a ready Mars creature, it's just each Mars creature in play, which can be quite strong. We also have a Biomatrix Backup. Okay. Um, so we all know this one. You may, well, a change to, you have to put this creature into its owner's archive, right? 
So two upgrades, then we have an Ixalix Dominator, so that's a 9 power creature with 1 armor, it has taunt, but it enters place stunned. So that's a nice Mars creature. Let's see what we got here. We've got an Ixalo Bolter. Fighter Reap deal 2 damage to a creature. And if it destroys that, purge it. So that's quite nice. A Vesma Thing Drone. 3 power. Reap. You may archive a friendly creature artifact from play. So you could use this in combination with your key charge. And um, Oh, I'm sorry. You can't do that. It's only friendly creature or artifact from play. Okay, fine. Still powerful. Okay, we also have a Gromit. Okay, Gromit says you cannot play creatures. After an enemy creature is destroyed fighting Gromit, your opponent loses one. So, that effect is really nice, but the first effect is really nasty, because you cannot play creatures and it's a 10 power creature. And if your opponent is smart about it, it leaves this creature uh, on the board. So you're having trouble uh, getting board control. So that's, that's, that's a dangerous card. We're gonna put it out here. So we also have a grab, Grabber Jammer, right? Okay, your opponent keys cost plus one and Fighter Reap capture one. So that's a nice one. Then we have an artifact, one of the best artifacts in Mars, I think. For the remainder of the turn, gain one Amber each time a creature reaps. Now we have only four plus Gromit, so that's relatively okay. Then um, we also have a soft landing. So the next creature artifact you play this turn enters play ready. You could play it in combination with Crystal Hive or one of your creatures here. Then we also have an Hypnotic Command. For each friendly Mars creature, choose an enemy creature to capture one from their own side. Hmm. That's quite, that's, yeah, it's, it's control, right? It's Amber control, so that's fine. A Deep Rope, all right. So one Amber. Choose a house, reveal your opponent's hand, and discard each creature of that house revealed this way. This is a really nasty card. One time I was playing a game and I had uh, five uh, disc creatures in my hand, and my opponent used this card and guessed this, so that's really, really annoying. But it can be very powerful if you have some idea what your opponent has, right? Then we also have a battle fleet, so an action gives you an amber and you can reveal any number of Mars cards from your hand and for each card revealed this way draw one card. That's a really powerful effect, right? Because card draw is it's very powerful. Alright, so that was everything for Mars. So we've got a nice artifact, a Crystal Hive, I think that's quite powerful. We only have uh, four, four Mars creatures and not like well, 4 plus Gromit, but I'm gonna leave that one out for now. And not like the best ones, you know? I mean, these are okay, but i rather have like something like a John Smith or... Um, yeah, like a John Smith or the one that allows you to, uh, when it reaps, you can use another creature. Those are really powerful, but we'll have to see how these work in this deck, right? And then, of course, we have Gromit, but I'm, I'm on the fence about Gromit. It can be good in the exact... In a, in a good situation, but you have to be careful. I mean, it doesn't even have taunt, so yeah, it's dangerous. All right, and then we've got two, two upgrades. We got an artifact, and then only four actions. We get two direct amber from it, but these are quite good. I mean, Battle Fleet, Deep Probe, Hypnotic Command, and Soft Landing, those are quite good uh, action cards. All right, so that's that. And then we go for the last house. And that's Logos. All right. So this is already quite nice. We have Osmo, the Marchionologist. So it's elusive and it has a fight reap ability that it says heal three damage from a Mars creature or stun a Mars creature. That's nice that it works together with this Mars deck, of course. So that's okay. Then we have a Mother, right? That's a, that's a really good card. I really like Mother and I like to have as much as possible. It's, uh, it's really strong. All right. Uh, a Ganymede Archivist. Reap Archive a card, so that's nice. So there are some archive effects in this deck. We've got a Dr. Escoterra. So I really like Dr. Escoterra because what it actually is is, well, at first it's just a four power creature, but in the late game, it actually becomes something like a Dust Pixie, right? Because if your opponent has two keys, you gain one Amber for each forged key your opponent has. So in some sense, it's like, it's like a Dust Pixie in the late game and it has a four power, so that's quite good. Okay, we've got two of those. And we've got a Dark Bookton. Reaping lets us allow, allows us to draw a card. So that's run of the mill Logos card. We've got Dexter, so you've got a nice combination with this, right? If uh, if your opponent would destroy Dexter, if he's if he's that 
that um, how would I say it confused to kill Dexter to get the amber back and you can reap a duck booked and you get Dexter back because he goes on top of your deck and you can capture again uh, the amber so that's those two work quite nice together all right then we have a phase shift phase shift is really nice because we have a key charge right you could play phase shift and then play our key charge if in some way you get your amber uh, true logos so that's good that's really good um, all right and we've got two phase shifts all right I like that I like that so those are action cards then we've got a fogify uh, so that our opponent um, cannot fight with uh, cannot use creatures to fight on their next turn and we got two of those right so that's some control that we have in there and then we've got an effervescent principle each player loses half their amber and rounding down the loss gain one chain so that's good right so there is some amber control in this deck that's okay there's it's not really strong of course we don't have chatter so there are not not really steel effects but i think it's fine i like i actually like uh, the logos part and I like the um, The untamed part. I'm a bit on the fence about the Mars part, but we'll see what uh, What gives right? I'm gonna make a gameplay video about this and we'll see how it goes. All right Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye